Right, I'm coming walk around to come and see uh, what's on offer on the various stalls. So this one is the bric-a-brac, uh, and Phyllis Sigsworth is up first. Phyllis, tell us your best wares. What's on offer? Beautiful china mugs, lots and lots of lovely glasses, and some very attractive decanters. Very good. And Joan's doing her hair, especially for the camera. There you are. Perfect. Brilliant. Lovely. So, uh, and Joan, Joan's on hand to help you. London 2012 mugs, bit of uh, Olympic souvenirs for 20 pence. That's a bargain. Next up, the books and DVDs. Uh, Jill Curry, are you manning this store for now? Well, yes. Oh, sorry. Yes. That, that went well. <laughs> Very good books, including some nice ones on cats. I noticed this is the ultimate guide to cats. Uh, fact and photo filled practical guide. Uh, a load of old rabbit from cats, so uh, kit, uh, cat chat. Yours today, if you're a cat fan, then you better make your way down to the books and DVD store. What's on offer here, guys? This looks fantastic. What's on offer? Weigh, uh, weigh the cake. That's what the gorilla's thinking. Uh, how many sweets in the jar? And what's the teddy called? And what? How much? How much is it to enter these things? Uh, 20p for the gorilla thing. Uh, 50p for how much is the cake? How much does it weigh? And then. Uh, 20p for uh, how many sweets in a jar and uh, 50p for how much is the, what's the Teddy's name? What's the Teddy's name? Guess for 50p, uh, various names going, Candy, Honey, Patches and Sam. One of them might be right, I don't know, fantastic. Uh, various teas and refreshments are still on offer throughout the day. Uh, John uh, John Stevens looks like he's tucking in there to a nice nice piece of cake, fantastic. Uh, Ruth Bourne is very, very uh, precisely drawing and is it, are you painting, you're painting, face painting, what design are you going for? We're doing a purple uh, butterfly, the second in a row. The second, oh, it's a popular design today. Someone else has already got it, yeah. But I've done a few rainbows, a few butterflies and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Fantastic. So if you want your face painted or, or bracelets or, you know, or any, or even anklets maybe, who knows, then uh, they make your way over there. Barbecue is doing a roaring trade as always. Tony Lane, Tony Lane is on the barbecue today. How are we, how are we doing? How many sales have we made? Uh, lots, but there's still lots left, so come on down and have uh, burgers and sausages. Fantastic. It's proper proper summer fair food. Uh, again, the Jam Jar Lucky Dip making a welcome return after last year. And over here with Rita, some homemade sweets. Tell us about these. Um, well, they're all delicious. They are all delicious. What more do you need to say? Made fresh yesterday. Okay, and there's marshmallows and... Marshmallows with chocolate, uh, coconut ice, fudge and... Nice, uh, fresh marshmallow. Lots and lots of lovely things. That looks marvellous. Uh, again, the sort of all the all the traditional uh, summer fair favourites: a handicraft stool, the uh, the bottle tombola. The bottle tombola looks good. Uh, so there we go. It's still many prizes to be won, and lots of good stuff as well. There we go. <laughs> So fantastic, it's, it's all going well. Uh, we've had the Monica La Rose dance presentation earlier today. Uh, and uh, all the while, meanwhile, in the churchyard uh, and across the whole of the building of the church is the Flower Festival, which is also here this weekend. So a very special treat here at St. Luke's Church. So this is uh, the St. Luke's Summer Fair, slightly being put off by rain, but uh, the punters are being kept happy by a range of attractions, side stalls, and uh, my very own PA system. So uh, yeah, there we go, St. Luke's Summer Fair 2016. It's a, it's a lively affair once again. <laughs>